Okay, so I'm just gonna create a simple demo scene to show what's possible so far. You can use the right trigger to paint, and the left trigger makes a new frame. And as you can see, you can make animations like that quite easily. Um, also, this bubble here represents the timeline you're on right now. So this one has six frames and it kind of shows you where you are in the frames. So if I make a new one, changes to seven. Okay, but this is pretty lame. So I'm gonna just reset the scene. And I'm gonna start it over. I'm gonna make something simple. I'm gonna start with drawing a little mountain here. <coughs> Putting a little house on top. And if I press the left trigger, I can actually move the things around and scale them and position them like however I want to. Okay, so this timeline only has one frame. And I'm just gonna create a new timeline so this object will be persistent. And uh, now what I wanna do, I wanna have some water here, I wanna create some waves. Like it yeah, looks like a cliff in the ocean. I'm gonna change the color to white. I'm just gonna start with something very simple. I'm just gonna make this thing. And I'm just gonna animate a little wave right here. If I play that back, get this little wavy motion. I don't really like the first two frames. Uh -huh. So now I have this wave, and what I can do now is position this wave here. I think it's okay. Um, and now I can clone that timeline. So get another wave. And I'm just gonna put it here. So as you can see now, I have two of them. Um, and now I can offset. I can offset the timelines to each other, this little button here, and like that, they become like separate objects, kind of, <coughs> so that makes them a little bit more interesting. So I'm just gonna clone more of them, and offset them, <coughs> clone another one. So that's one as well. Now I have like this little, little wavy ocean going on there. Um, okay. Now I'm gonna make a create a new timeline. <coughs> I'm gonna make a sun. Just a simple three frame animation. So drawing the sun, making a new frame. And there's my son. I'm gonna put it behind the hill here. <coughs> so I'm kind of assembling this little scene here. Maybe I'll do one last thing. Create a new new timeline. Make a pink little bird. This little bird. <coughs> oh, there's also an under button here, like the one with the back symbol. Uh, it undoes the last lines. Here, clone bird timeline. 
put another one. They're big. <coughs> Offset the frames a little bit. There's a little bug right now in this alpha where everything turns grey when you clone it, but if you play and stop a couple of times, then it gets its color back. Um, okay, what else can you do? If for some reason you have to change something in a timeline that you work on before, you can just pretty much go through them like this. It always highlights the one. So for example, there's this one wave that goes up a lot. I don't like that so much, so I can go back and kind of reposition it. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it so far. If anyone wants an alpha key, then just contact me. And I hope you guys have some fun with this and uh, can give me some good feedback. <laughs>